from our 516 console. The 516 console is designed around 500 series modules. The idea being that you can add up to 40 500 series modules to the console and therefore give it any flavor or any uh, sound that you want to give it. The 916 is the same frame as the 516 except that we've replaced the double bank of 500 modules with our own module. This is for customers who perhaps don't want to choose 500 series modules uh, and just want a console that's basically ready to go. So what this console offers is 48 channels of balanced line input. That's made from 16 standard channels, each with um, two inputs, mic or line. We have a separate 16 channel monitor section, so it's in line, but we also have eight buses and a separate monitor section. So that gives you eight returns for the subgroups, but another eight channels of monitoring. So it's 48 balanced line inputs in the console, so lots and lots of balanced inputs. As I said, we've replaced the first two banks of 500 series modules with our own. This gives you a transformer coupled mic input with phase reverse uh, and phantom power. Then we have a four section EQ which is put into the channel insert point. This has four bands of sweep frequency EQ, the high and low both being selectable between being peaking and shelving. We've also incorporated a swept high pass filter with its own bypass switch. So this can be used either as part of the equalizer or of course with the equalizer switched out, it can be used as a filter on the mic preamplifier. Added on to that and unique to this console is the three band EQ that we have on the monitor section. So now we have three band separate equalizer the monitor. So that makes it very versatile because this gives us 32 channels with full EQ. And because we can put the auxiliary sends onto the monitor section, 5 and 6 or 1 can go onto the monitor section. You've also got a fully featured monitor section with EQ and auxiliary sends when you're building up your tracks. So it's a very versatile, very flexible console. Yeah. One thing I'll just quickly point out is the metering, because the metering is very flexible. Um, we're playing some tracks back at the moment, and as you can see, the metering is reading the direct output from every channel. So if we were feeding a DAW from the direct output of every channel, which is the way we'd normally work, we can read what's going to the DAW. By depressing this button here, the meter switch, it will now read on channel one the return to the monitor section so we can see what's going to the DAW or what's coming back. But coupled to that, we have a global meter switch and when I depress the global meter switch, the meters now switch over to reading the eight group outputs. So this is reading subgroup number one. And each monitor section can now read either what is going to the subgroup or what is coming back from the tape return on there. So the metering can either read the output section of the console, the 16 returns and the 8 sends, or it can read the input. So very flexible metering. And of course on the master meters we have both bar graph and VU so that you can correlate between VU and bar graph. And also you'll notice that the bar graphs go up to plus 16 so we can read digital 0 dBFS and above. Okay. Uh, it's a fully modular console, no surface mount anywhere, so it's very easy to service. All the ICs are on plug-ins, it has a full motherboard underneath, so it's a very easy console to look after and to service.